guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl carol the diva today i'm gonna be doing some box braid in my hair i've never done box braids this size but i'm very excited because i have this new tool or this new thing that i want to introduce to you all so here we go this is what it is this is called a braider's band this is my first time hearing of it seeing it anything like that i don't know if you guys have heard of this thing before but it is so useful and i'm going to show you guys how i use it and what it is for this is from btl you know i have been showing you guys a lot of products from them and this is a new item that they have and i really really love it also i'm gonna be giving away two of them to you guys so definitely stay tuned and see how you could win it i took it out of the package to give you guys a closer look at it so that little gold part right there that i'm touching it's like a little cup or something like that you know that i'm gonna be putting my jam so i'm gonna put it on my arm it's so easy to go on all i do is just slap it on just like that just so you know the size is a one size fit all and it looks so cute and fancy so while i'm braiding my hair i'm gonna be looking all cute with my jam on my hand which is gonna be so easy to reach <laughs> my first thought when i saw this is that it was a very clever idea they do have them in three different colors the pink purple and black so for the giveaway just let me know what color you want because whatever color you want sis i got you okay but at the end of the video i'm gonna ask a question and you comment below and that's how you're gonna win this is the jam that i'm gonna be using in my hair as you can see they comes in two different sizes which means it's gonna take so much longer for especially the bigger one to finish so if i have it open while i'm doing my hair it's gonna you know get dried up so this is the reason why this braider band is so handy i'm gonna go ahead and get started by sectioning off the front of my hair Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take the jam out and put it on the braider's band. And I'm using the back of my finger to get it out just because I'm wearing fake nails. I've decided to start from the front just because in this video I'm going to be doing it a little bit different from how I usually do my box braid videos. After parting my hair, I usually apply some of the jam on the parting just to make it look a little bit cleaner. So what I'm doing is I'm taking out the sections in my hair where I'm going to be doing the box braids and I'm going to use elastic bands to hold them in place until I get back to them and put the box braids. So I'm going to go ahead and add an elastic band to hold this part and as you can see this is how big I'm going to be doing this one. For this section I'm going to go ahead and split it in two. So I'm going to have three on the left side and I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the right side so I'm going to have six even in the front.
Now that I'm done with the front, I'm going to go ahead and do the same in the back. To part the back of my hair, I usually slide the comb with one take right across and this is how I get a straight parting in the back. So for this section, I'm going to go ahead and make it in two. Now I'm up to the second row and I'm applying some jam onto my parting to make it nice and straight as usual. Okay y'all, so this is the braids that I'm going to be using today to do my box braids. And this is a hair that I've used before. I had two packs left over and that's what I'm going to be using today. Only two packs. This is the 3X Free Trust braids and the color is OT Silver. The length is number 30 and it comes with three in each pack. I'm going to start applying my box braids now and I'm going to be doing it going from the back and onto the front. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to try to answer a few questions that I got from you guys. And I told y'all when I do another box braid, I'll try to answer to your comments. So I'm going to go ahead and start my first braid. And with this one, I believe is this one I'm going to answer my first question from Miss Kichi P. So her question is, whenever I get ready to reposition my hand around and finish the box braids, the braids twist too. I can't figure out why, lol. I totally understand what you're asking and I'm going to show you how you could fix that because it's a totally easy fix. I know I'm doing large box braid and you know what? I think doing the large box braid will show you better how you could fix this than if I was doing a smaller size. But if I'm doing a smaller size, um, I think it, it will be so much easier to do. But um, with the larger box braid, you could definitely see what exactly I'm doing. So when I'm doing the braid, in order for me to prevent it from getting, you know, all twisted when I bring my arm down to finish braiding it down, I will braid my hair to a certain length far enough away from the root. If I braid it far enough away from the root, then when I twist it, it won't leave that kink in it. Another thing I'm gonna be doing after I'm done, as you can see, you know, right there, I braid it far enough away from the root. So that will prevent it from having that twist or that kink in it. And when I'm done braiding it, I'm gonna show you again what else I do to prevent it from, you know, having that twist in it. As you can see on this close-up shot, the hair doesn't have a kink in it. And even if it does at this point, there is still something you can do to get that kink out. And um, I'll show you guys in just a few. So because I'm doing jumbo braids today, I'm going to braid my hair all the way down to the end instead of halfway and going back to it. So... This is me doing it a total different way from I usually do my hair. I mean, it really doesn't take that long doing my hair this size. And even if I should stop in the middle, it's going to unravel because of the size. So it definitely does make sense to just braid it all the way down to the end.
Okay, so now that I've finished the braid, this is my other little trick that I use to take that kink out. I hold the hair at the root, I grip it really tight, and then I pull on it, go straight down to the end, just like you see me doing there. And that's gonna take the kink out also, if you still have kink in it. And as you can see now, it's nice and straight. I hope that answers your question, Miss Kichi P. Second question is from Rob the Pozo, and her question is, how do I make my back braids and my front braids to have proportional length? For this question, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a video clip answering it. How do I make my back braids and my front braids to have proportional length? So I'm gonna demonstrate with this piece of hair that I have. This is what I have left over from the two packs I use in my hair. So I'm gonna demonstrate with this, okay? So this is how we split the braid for braiding. You know, one side bigger than the other. Then we loop them like this. So we usually, or I, because everybody does it different. I usually, you know, move it like this to make sure the pieces at the bottom, right here, is the same length. See that? On the other side, I do the same thing. Because sometimes I split it and they're not the same length at the bottom. So I do that. So this is how I would do the back one and, um, and move on, you know. Now they're both the same length. Everything same length right there and the hair is stretched too. So, you know, that's good <laughs> Instead of it having a blunt cut, which I don't like so it's it's stretched So this is gonna make it easy to change the, the length as you go along and that's what I'm gonna show you Okay, so as you go along I Don't do this, but you want to know how to do it and you want to do it this way fine because the reason why I don't do it is because as I go up with my braids, it gets shorter like that. You know, I like it like that because it's layered when I do it like that. So, if you want them to all have the same length, what you do, each time you go up a row, you do this. Let me show you this side. Each time you go up a row, you pull it down some like that on one side. You do the other side, pull it down some. So now, one side is going to be, you know, a little bit longer than the other. And then you keep doing that as you go along. Now everything, what you're doing, is going to be on the same length instead of being layered. You know what I'm saying? But, I don't know, I don't like doing it like that because I feel like as I go up, it will layer the hair for me and it looks better if it's layered. Then I try to keep them at the same length as I go up. If you know what I mean. So hope that answered your question. Since I spent all that time answering those questions, I decided to jump onto the front of my hair. Now I'm gonna go ahead and braid this one at the side and answer another question, but I'm not gonna put this one up on the screen. It just came to my head while I'm, um, you know, editing. So somebody had asked me how I do so many box braids and, you know, keep my edges. So, first of all, the bigger I do my box braids, the better it is for my edges. And second of all, sometimes I try to leave out some of my edges so, you know, I won't put too much strain on it. But yeah, when you do your braids small, it puts more tension on your hair than when you do it big. I'm cracking up in the video because of my daughter asking me questions about animal sounds, so I just couldn't help it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this last one, and please forgive me because I forgot to tell you guys, I was putting rubber bands on the end of every one of these braids just to keep them from unraveling. Because of the size, they were you know coming back out and so i put rubber bands there to keep them but i'm gonna take the rubber bands off 
and dip them in some hot water after I'm done braiding. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lay my edges using my edge control from Edge Effect. I actually leave these edges out on purpose just so I will have something to lay down. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mousse on it. And this I usually do when I do box braid or, you know, most styles I do, I use mousse on it. This mousse is from BTL, of course. And um, it's just gonna leave my hair looking really nice and neat and give it a really cute finished look. I just realized I'm still wearing my braided band so I'm cleaning it off with some paper towel and I'm gonna put it away for using next time because this was very handy and I definitely will be using it again and again. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some oil onto my scalp. This is the BTL scalp finishing oil and nowadays when I do my braids or anything that expose my scalp or is tight on my hair, I always try to apply the finishing scalp, I mean the finishing oil afterwards. Here's the finished look you guys, I've added some hair jewelry to finish it off but look at how juicy these braids look, whoever knew that these jumbo braids would look so good, I absolutely love them. Okay guys, to enter to win the braided band that I told you about in the beginning of the video, I want you to comment the title of the video that I first promoted BTL products in that's all and tell me what color braided band you would like to win and if i feel generous i just may give away three not two okay so go ahead and try your luck all the products i use today besides the hair is from btl i will link them all in the description box below so definitely do go check them out if you're interested Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you think it was helpful, I would really, really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!